Hello family and thank you for coming back to our channel, The Up Chanel's 48th World, where we present the family affair. That's when you come together with me, I come together with you, and we sit and talk shit. Okay, we talk about what's trending out there in social media as we are speaking, okay? Found this little article from Urban Bell Mag Magazine. Of course, you know who it's written by, Amanda Anderson-Niles, uh, Amanda yeah, I right. I was right. And Amanda Anderson Niles over there, the Urban Bell Mag magazine, shooting out these stories for us to partake of however we want to do it. Okay, and we like to do it with the family. Okay, so we're gonna get right on into it. Her title of her article was Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore says Mark Daly kisses Nene Leases. It starts with the A. Goes a SS. Y'all put it together and see what you get best. Okay. We're going to talk about the Rudy Tootie. The booty. The bam bam back there. That Kenya Moore is swearing. That her husband is kissing. Okay. And I'm like okay okay. You want to get a little down and dirty. Go ahead then Kenya. But before we get into it. Of course we have to make some announcements. Of some new family members that stopped by. Hopefully they'll sit a spell. And um dialogue with us here and there but if they don't it's okay for them to come and peek in and see what everybody else is talking about see if they it's a place where they want to gather here and there sometimes it's okay we we allow you to come in speak your mind and leave if you must but if you want to keep coming back we only ask that you subscribe share the videos and like the videos okay that's all we don't ask for monetariness we don't ask for any uh, profits of money coming out your pocket to me only thing we ask for is your time bring your laughter uh be comfortable and get ready to be entertained hell if it ain't by me it's gonna probably be somebody in that chat okay we keep it live on both ends all right but anyway we want to say a warm welcome to sip on with t uh madeline webb nancy coleman uh, and I think she uh, did put out that Kenya ex-boyfriend, ex-fiance that she was going to marry with all them kids. She confirmed that it was nine total. And I'm like, whoo, girl, I'm glad you missed that that uh, bus. All right. It's a sad tragedy the way he died. But, ooh, Lord, honey, if you would have had said you do to him, girl, you would have been saying you do to them kids plus any other ones you had with him. Ooh, child. Whoo, girl, you had to go um, be out in the rural area and go put you some purchase you up some land and put your little house out there and with a barn or something because I, I tell you i don't know nine kids in today's society woo -wee. and last but not least we're gonna say hello to marie pierre so welcome 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 come back often and again subscribe to the channel so we can stay in touch with one another not saying you have to come by every day but if you choose to put them notifications hit that bell and we'll see you when we see you, okay? But let's get on into the story. Reading first paragraph, it said, Real Housewives of Atlanta stars Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore won't be ending their feud anytime soon. Well, why not? Why won't they be uh, ending their food, uh, feud? I don't know. I don't know. My phone acting up, guys, so I'm kind of stalling right here. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, here we go. But they can't end their feud. Their feud must not end because then who is going to uh, try to bring it, okay? I don't know. Because Kenya ain't got no friends. She started out with some friends, but it don't look like she got none now. Okay, or no allies, I should say. Scratch the word friends. Ain't nobody friends on this show. We're just going to say they be cordial to one another. They come to work with their colleagues. They have to be cordial. They have to film. They have to get their money. So that's where we're going to put it. We ain't going to see them as friends. Or hell, I'm not going to see them as friends. Because friends don't get down like this. Friends don't put their uh, friends in precarious situations. And definitely don't be going around them calling them cunts and stuff. That's just too tacky. And unsanitary when you think about it. Okay, got a bad image in my mind. But anyway, it goes on to say. Um, Kenya Moore, in my opinion... Ain't got no friends. So I don't know what she talking about, about. She had friends to begin with. We tried to see her and Portia with the babies try to, you know, do their thing. Look at Kenya Moore throwing up that little night aside. Okay, have y'all been doing y'all education, y'all work, y'all research? Go on and research this stuff now. Okay, but anyway, uh, we're going into the article once again. 
It says, in fact, they nearly came to blows on the current season. Auto Nene Leakes claims that she had tried to make peace with Kenya multiple times. Things have often, things have only gotten worse between them. Now, Nene, side boy, you know you ain't tried to get in touch and try to break, bring no olive branch for um, Kenya to take part of. Can you get on your nerves like you get on Kenya nerves? It just seems like the sight of either one of y'all looking at each other just gets into y'all skin. With you, you just want to tear your skin off. You just want to bite your skin off because y'all have that much animosity towards each other. I think both y'all need to go see counselor because can't nobody dislike a person that bad. You know what I'm saying? I just... I, I mean, you hear people talk about it, but just to see these two go at it, like it. I'm just saying they're trying to get their money, so they're trying to make it as salacious as they possibly can for us to look at. But I don't think they, they really don't like each other for real, guys. And that's terrible. That's so terrible for both of them to say they love the Lord. But anyway, just see what it is, my sidebar. Going back uh, to the article, it says, uh, interestingly enough, Kenya's husband, Mark Daly, has no issues with Nene. My sidebar again real quickly. Reason why he ain't got no issue with Nene because he ain't got no marriage with Kenya. They both are actors. Mark is a more believable actor of being a very strong minded person if that's the part he's playing and he don't give a fuck. Okay. If he given that a uh, role, he playing it very well. He's an A-lister actress. Actor, I'm sorry. But when you're talking about Kenya and she trying to pull this thing out that she got a marriage and with Mark and a uh, girl. Woo, honey, if you had eyes to see, even if y'all were playing a picture or playing in a play, and he was supposed to be the no good husband or boyfriend, he playing his part, child. But you ain't playing your part. You ain't playing your part at all. You playing the victim over there. And I'm like, girl, and we want to shout out straight to the A. You saw a little clip over there. Go watch her channel. She has a YouTube channel, and she has a wonderful blogging site. So go on over there. See what she got for you. I'm sure it'll be entertaining. And why you at it? Tell her, come on here and watch me. <laughs> I'm entertaining as well to a certain degree. But anyway, going on. Oh, back to the article. It says, um, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, Nene Lisa and Kenya Moore are still battling one another. Playing against each other. That's just my sidebar. Not in this lady article. But it does say he has nothing. Meaning Mark. He has nothing but nice things to say about her. And he's also downplayed the few. This doesn't sit well with Kenya. And she even said that Mark likes kissing Nene ass. During uh, the after show. And I'm like. What, 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 you want, what else you want him to do? Because it sounds like you saying he gone and kiss him. Okay, he like Nene. Nene is kind of crazy and, and funny at times. But then again, so are you, Kenya. You're, you're kind of quirky as well, too. But you're going around here tearing up everybody. First, you were fighting with Portia. Then you started with Tanya. Then you worked your way down to imitating Tanya. So I knew that was coming. Uh, a blow right there. Then you didn't like Marlo. You was here and there because you were talking about your wigs. Uh, Cynthia, you know, she. you always running over Cynthia. For one reason or another, you always putting her down. Then you got Candy. You ain't listening to Candy. Candy tell you to go right, you go left. She tell you to keep your mouth closed on certain issues. You go blabbering it out. So, I mean, who, you're not loyal to anybody, girl. You're not loyal to anybody. So, why should Ma be loyal to you? Okay? If he's playing your karma, then you getting your just karma due. Because these are the things you sit and do to uh, the women in the group. That Mark is serving you up, shedding you down like you call yourself shedding women down. He's shedding you down. Don't seem so nice. Now, does it, Kenya? Whether it's coming from your boyfriend, whether it's coming from your husband, it just don't seem nice at all. So, maybe you're getting your karma, baby. But going back to the article, it says, Kenya Moore is not here for NeNe Leaks. And their feud continues to worsen on the current season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. While they were in Canada, they nearly came to blows after Kenya interjected herself into Nene's conversation with Cynthia Bailey. That's right, Amanda Anderson. Now she interjected herself. Meaning Kenya couldn't sit there and just let it all play out. Now nah, Kenya had to throw her little two cents in. Telling Nene, nah, you should have told her when you had a chance. You know, just egging folks. I only see Ma probably know about all that egging. And, and low key, he might be looking at the episodes as their arrogant. And he could see how arrogant and disassociated Kenya is with her so-called company of friends. So, hey, he's just giving her one that she done gave to them. 
Hmm. I see it as fair. I mean, everybody who has been taken up for them. You got Todd taking up for Candy. You got Cynthia. Ta I mean, uh, Mike taking up for Cynthia. You got Mike, the other Mike taking up for Eva. You got Dennis taking up for Portia. Yeah, they husband ride or die. Whether they w women are wrong in whatever they're pursuing and who they're pursuing against. They still ride for their uh, wives or fiancés, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, however you want to see it. They doggone it. Mike ain't right. I mean, not Mike. Mark ain't right for Kenya. He calling Kenya out. He said, if you're acting like a spade, you're acting like a spade. Because even the one we call the uh, Housewives of Atlanta male version, Peter, now it seems like it's going to be Mike. You know, they took up for their women. Yes, they did. Even when Mike had a whole room full of women and some um, gay men as well. We still trying to test out Mike's sexuality. We don't know which way he go. I think he one of them down low brothers, but that's just my opinion. But yes, even Greg be taking up for Nene. Like, I'm like, Greg, you just had a, a heart concern and, and some uh, cancer scares. You need to sit on down now. Sit on down, Greg. <laughs> okay? We love you, but, you know, you're getting over your head. you mess with some young men now, honey. But anyway, and then you got old Cheating Dennis. He'll take over for Portia. He ain't even like he wanted to be there at the little bowling at the event. But he did anything and everything for Portia just to make her happy. Okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it said, um... Any conversation with Cynthia Bailey, the two women... Uh, also nearly get into physical altercation later on in the season which Nene attempted to spit on Kenya. Yes. All right. Spitting is not necessarily, it's not sanitar uh, sanitary. We don't need to see that. We don't need to hear about it. But yet, we had to go through it. So, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna uh, say Nene was good on that because it don't matter how bad you don't like a person. Ah, you ain't gotta put no bodily fluids on it. Just go on and get them hands, get the hand action working, okay? But we ain't gotta Spit. We ain't got to spit. But anyway, um, going back to the article, it says when things being with things being so bad between them, Kenya doesn't understand why Mark daily likes Nene so much. On the latest episode, he even shut down Kenya's attempt to refrain from inviting Nene to his upcoming charity event. Yes, cause. Uh, Mark looking for money. He looking for dollars for his organization and his charity where he's trying to help these young black men. Okay, he ain't worried about no petty stuff. All of them. Women got money. Men got money. Women make men spend money. You see what I'm saying? And Nene's making money. So he needs Nene coin. Can't you catch it? Go on and get in their pockets. Then go on and treat them any kind of way if you want to. But if you want them to keep uh, being a viable source to the resources you're trying to get for your charity, you better play nice, okay, until you get out of the philanthropy type of uh, entrepreneurship, okay? That's all I'm saying. But going back to the uh, article, it says, while discussing this during the after show, Kenya accused Mark of always kissing any ass. She feels like Mark should take her side in the feud, and he shouldn't have such nice things to say about someone she feels has done horrible things to her. Well, sin I mean, uh, Kenya, what have you done? to the rest of the crew what have you done to them lately not what have you what they what have they done to you or what are they gonna do for you but what have you done to them lately not for it, but done honey so mark just mark just giving you back what you gave and plenty more okay so yeah he ain't gonna take up for somebody like you can that sit up there and start stuff and calling other women cunts girl please i wouldn't even take up for you no even if i was your mother i probably would slap you in your head or your your your, in your face or something because you ain't got no business calling calling no woman no cunt okay Okay, unless you've been down there serving her up, then I guess you could call because you've been down there and saw everything. But if you're not her lesbian lover or you don't get down like that and then go with a man afterwards, you shouldn't be calling nobody that. This is nasty, can you? Nasty. Okay, you're supposed to be a role model out here. Then you're sitting up there doing that kind of stuff. Uh-uh. Don't go together. What two don't go together? Mark and Kenya. Can we say amen? Amen. Okay. The church has spoken. Move on back to the article. It says, uh, as for Nene, she claims that she has tried multiple times to make peace with Kenya. And she also had extended the olive branch before they started filming. So she's convinced that Kenya likes to fight with her 
for press and storylines on the show. Well, Nene, we can pretty much say you can say the same thing. You do the same thing, so we ain't going to call uh, you no lesser or no greater than what Kenya's doing because you're doing the same darn thing. And then when you get upset, you get mad, you start crying and want everybody on your side. So, no, you know better. You know better, okay? But let's go on and see, uh, hear some audio from these little video clips and see what we got. We got Kenya and Candy together, and they're talking about the show. Uh, and Nene, of course. Mark seems to really like you. Oh, Lord, yes, Jesus. Even at the bowling alley, he was like, no, I love Nene. Nene and I are in a good place. Isn't that right, Kenya? Or Ken, or whatever he calls her. <laughs> so I want you guys both there. Um, Kenya agrees? I agree. <laughs> I was like, who team are you on? Kenya, how did you feel when your husband said that he has nothing against Nene? I had a problem with the fact that he is always <laughs> kissing Nene's ass. From meeting her once or twice, and she introduced Greg to him. So somehow that made him feel so good and so important that he, like, is riding for her. Nene was nice to me the first time I met all of you. She showed me the ultimate respect. So I don't have a problem with the woman. The woman's very nice. I do want her to be a part of the event. It's for a cause that's bigger than any, you know, petty stuff. And I'm like, but what about me? I'm your wife. You need to ride for me. If someone mistreats me, they mistreat you. We are a family. We're one. And so I don't understand why, if I'm constantly telling you this woman is evil to me, she's talked about our unborn child, she has said and done nasty things, why do you like her? Mark seems like he's a nice guy. You know, I don't know what it is to be in a relationship with him because that's always different. No, you mean you don't know what it's like to be in a relationship with Kenya? Well, I'm sure, with her and with him, you know? No, that's just You just, situation. you know, a person could be really nice but you don't know how they operate in a relationship. We should have knew something was wrong there, though, with their relationship. <laughs> then... <laughs> They are true. That's it. At, at this point, I remember you talking about him needing to become assimilated into Atlanta society. Do you think it had anything to do with that? Nene is not the person in the group that's most connected in Atlanta. Candy is, and it's not because she's sitting right there. Okay? Seriously, she is not the socialite. No one wants to invite her to any party. She's loud and obnoxious, and she treats her fans horribly. So no one's clamoring to get at Nene to invite them to things in Atlanta. Candy is the only one that I would have to say, if you want to meet the elite of Atlanta, you would need to buddy up to Candy. I mean, she's friends with the mayor. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, I guess Candy is <laughs> out and about a lot now, too. She now, okay, we're talking about this because of the show. Because prior to that, you never saw Tanya anywhere. We didn't know who Tanya was. We didn't know who Paul was. Now she suddenly is a socialite because of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thank you very much, Candy. <laughs> what? Where's the lie? Now you see what I'm saying? You see how arrogant she is and she's trying to boast Candy up and give Candy the big head. No, no, no. All of them got put up by being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Nobody was checking for you, Kenya. You was in Hollywood trying to make it work, make it do what it do, and you still was a video bot, okay? I don't know how you came from being Miss USA, and then you're going to slum your way into those thought-type positions on those videos. And you weren't even playing a, a interesting character when you were featured on Martin, you were playing somebody's wife, but you were showing yourself as trashy and stuff because even Martin didn't want Gina to look like you. Okay? He said you had a banging body, but you more trash than class. Okay? And then for you to talk, uh, throw down Nene when Nene and really Candy probably when they were off the TV program of Real Housewives of Atlanta and they were trying to make it do what they do, they both were just fairly known. And the only way we knew Candy was because of Escape okay if anything we knew tiny of ti okay and she was staying more relevant because they wasn't checking for candy how many times people got to tell the twirls and all of that but it just is what it is i am going to end this video because i gotta go somewhere real quick guys y'all get down in them comments tell me what y'all thought put your two cents in and i'll check your next video thank you